Happy spring break! I hope your week off is to a great start. Okay, so today I'm coming at you with a review of this cute little crossbody that you may have seen. It's called the Druot. And that's just how this Texan says it, the Druot. Okay, but what I have been doing when I see some of these fancy names of these bags, I go to this uh, pronunciation website and you can type in the word and then choose what language you want it to pronounce it in. And so I just have to tell you, the French, you know, the actual way you say it in French it sounds beautiful. I so butcher it when I say the Druot, but that's what it is. It's this cute little crossbody. Okay, so first the measurements. Okay, so you can kind of see how the, it's an oval shape. It's, it's a unique silhouette bag. Okay, so it's got an oval and it's a little bit smaller on the bottom, you can see. So at the bottom, it's about eight inches across. And then up here at the top, it's like nine inches. And then um, it's eight and a half inches tall. And then, okay, but the, but the zipper is actually like down just, what, about a half inch from the top. So take that into consideration. And then it's hard to really measure the depth of it because it is an oval bag. But it's, it's between three and four inches generally, okay? Um, the inside is completely lined. I forgot to bring my little, um, what do you call it? Uh, flashlight so you can see. Oh, there you go. Okay. So it's completely lined in leather and it has one slip pocket. And you, as you know, with a lot of the vintage bags, sometimes the, the zipper pocket or slip pocket can be a bit peeling. This one is starting to peel like right here on the inside. Um, but it's not, you know, on the main part, on the back wall, it's not, and it's not sticky. It's just peeling. And I actually put some of this protectant um, on it, so hopefully, you know, it'll just stay the way that it is and won't change. And then it has an adjustable strap, which is really long, okay? It has actually seven holes to choose from, and right now it's on number three. And so I'll just show you what it looks like here in a minute. But this definitely is um, a super cute, like, on-the-go little crossbody. But if you're going to use this bag, you will have to downgrade or downsize to a little uh, compact wallet because you, you're not going to really, it, I mean, you could, here, let's just see. I was going to say, you could probably fit your full-size wallet in here. No, you can't. See, look, it just, not even up and down. Up and down, it's, it's past the zipper. Can't get it in there side to side. So, bye-bye, big wallet. Okay, so I will just downsize to this little wallet. It's my little French kiss lock wallet that you've seen me feature in my other videos. And that'll fit. And then probably my, uh, my mini pochette will fit in here. And then, okay, what else? Um, you know what? You probably need to take you some Kleenexes, okay? Especially if you're just using this for on the go. So this thing's not very tall, so I can just stand it up. I can stand it up along the wall there. And then probably the only other thing that I would take in here, well, okay, gum. Gotta have that. Or where is that? My ratch ratch. Okay, and then I would have to use, include my, my Ratch Ratch lift glass case. And I can actually stand this up. Well, here, maybe. Let's see. Here, I'll stand the wallet up. Because you can stand the compact wallet up, and it, it doesn't go higher than the zipper. It's still, it's still low. Um, okay, and the same for my little Ratch Ratch. You see it? And it has, it does have a D-ring. It is right here, which is kind of nice for these little bags. It has this little D-ring in there. And I would probably just save the slip pocket for my phone. So, anyway, that's, that's all, I mean, this thing is small. So that's all that's going to fit in here. It's not, you know, unless you like to use these kind of smaller bags for day-to-day, -day, for me, this would definitely not be a day-to-day -day bag. This would be like, you know, weekend or mom's not out, date night, uh, vacay, whatever. So let me show you what it looks like. That's a crossbody. Okay. So, again, I have it on the third hole. And I'm 5'6". And it hits me, like the top of the bag hits me at my hip bone, okay? So this is how it looks on, and there's still, you know, and I'm going to change it so you can see the other, how, like how much lower it will go. But this is just kind of like how I would wear it. I like for everything to kind of hit right here at my hip bone, right here. I got my little pants on, you can see. I know it's kind of hard to tell, like, where my waist is because I wear this big old frumpy shirt. <laughs> but anyway, okay, so this is on the third hole. So now, let me put it on... The bottom, the last hole, and we'll see what happens with that. This is such a cute little bag. Okay, so now I'm putting it on the very last one, and it has two little strap, you know, belts to keep the strap nice and uh, snug against the strap. Oh, yeah, this is cute. Okay, well, you know what? I could probably wear it like this, too. This is fine. 
The other one's just a little bit higher, and you can still reach the bottom of the bag from where it is. So, you know, if you're a taller gal, this is still going to be fine. I mean, the, the top of the bag is like at my hip bone. My hip bone's like right here. Here's my hip bone. It's just a little bit, probably what? Well, if I bend down, the bag goes down. Probably what, an inch, an inch past my hip bone is where this, this thing hits. So, um, I think this would be a great option for taller gals. And then, of course, if you're a shorter gal, that's fine too. You have six other holes to choose from. And so this is, I like this one because sometimes on those, on the crossbodies, there's not a lot of options for, you know, how much room you're going to have. But this is, this is a lot. You can tell even just from this video. Look at that. There is a lot of room here. So again, this is the little Druot. D-R-O-U-O-T, I think. I think that's what it is. And it's super cute. You can see in here everything. So again, just a compact wallet, your phone, keys, maybe a, I have a mini post shut in there, and a um, my retro edge lip gloss case. And that's about it. And it's so cute. Look, the bottom is all, I got it all cleaned up. Ooh, golly, that's pretty. Y'all, I, I need to do a video and show y'all how I clean these bags. I use saddle soap. I use saddle soap from uh, the Feeblings, I think, or Feebings, I think that's how you say it. I get it at Tandy Leather. And there's two options. There is a clear one, and there's one that has a yellow tint. And I use the clear one for most bags, for most bags. And then I use the one with the yellow tint on the super vintage bags that have like heavy patina because it just evens it out. That's what it does. And then I have this other um, little glazy stuff that I actually put a nice coat on the bottom and I buff it out, and that gives it the nice sheen. And it also protects. And this is actually a new, a new product. It's called a... Like a, it's a flexible acrylic resiline, and so um, yeah, it gives it this nice little sheen, and it's a protectant. And then I just put it, you know, like on the accents. I don't usually put it on the strap. Um, I might put it over here, but I don't typically like do. I mean, I clean the strap, but I usually don't put the uh, the balm that I use, the finishing balm, on the strap. Uh, I, I just don't because it's just I don't know. I just feel like it's it's just gonna. I don't know why I don't. Okay, I just don't. So yeah, and then I, I did this inside part too. This is leather on the inside. So like I said, the uh, it's got a sunken zipper. So you have like, you know, about an inch up here of this leather trim, and then you have the zipper. And the zipper is still nice and shiny, nice and smooth. This is a cute little crossbody bag. So again, the little Druot. I just wanted to give y'all a little peek into what it looks like. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope it was helpful. I'll see y'all real soon. Okay, bye!